Hello Internet! Today we're going to be teaching our computer how to see wolves in World of Warcraft using machine learning. Our computer will become a wolf slayer in no time, the bane of Northshire Valley. So let's get started. For today's uh, tutorial and video, I used RoboFlow. I have absolutely no affiliation with RoboFlow, but you can sign up for a free account and use them for creating models, which is what I did for this video. So I'd recommend if you're interested to give them a try and follow along with my tutorial. You can also find my project and model right here and you can actually use your images to test on my model. If you follow this link, it will let you drop your input videos or images and try out the data and see what you get. So you're welcome to try my model or make your own. So. I've already started on this model, obviously, but let's walk through how exactly I did it. So first, we have to provide data to the computer. So the way machine, machine learning works is we will feed a computer positive and negative examples of an object. In this case, we want to teach a computer a positive and negative example of a wolf. So the way we do that is we have images. We upload images like this one. And in this image, we would use this uh, rectangle tool and identify any positive, if any, examples of a wolf on this image. So the computer will learn from this. It will understand that this is a wolf, this is a wolf, this is a wolf, and this is a wolf. And it'll also learn that this is not a wolf, this is not a wolf. So it's learning both positive and negative examples of what a wolf is. This is very similar to the way children would learn if you were to show them a picture. So imagine we invented a our own animal, we called it a foo, and we showed them a picture of a cat, and we said, this is a foo. So if it was a black cat, a child might understand, okay, that all foos are black, all foos have four legs, all foos have tails. Then we might show the picture, another picture of a fish that was red, and say, this is also a foo. That would drastically change the child's understanding. Before, they thought it was an animal with four legs and black, now they might think, okay, well, it can be all kinds of colors. It can have legs or not have legs. Both of those are foos, so their understanding widens. We may show it a bird flying and say, this is not a foo. And now they might say, okay, well, a foo cannot fly. And their understanding would shrink. And that's kind of how machine learning works. So the more data we can feed in, the more it can learn this is an example, this is not an example, and it continues to tweak that algorithm to make it fit as many cases as possible. That's how machine learning works in a nutshell. So again, these are positive examples. So let's upload another image and let me show you exactly how it's done. Okay, so I'm going to upload another video to this. So we're just gonna pretend that you were uploading all your videos, all your images at the same time, but I'm just gonna add one more since I already have a lot of images in this model. Okay, so I've done that. Now I'm gonna save that image. Okay, so now that we've opened the image, we need to annotate it. So this is our image here, and we're gonna go ahead and use the bounding box tool, and we're gonna to try to select a positive all the positive examples of a wolf now we want to make sure that we don't cut off any part of the wolf if we do that can cause problems with the algorithm so we're gonna hit enter okay that's one example here's another positive example here's another positive example and here's another positive example okay so now that image is annotated you can see that's now in the annotate annotated area and we can add that to the data set so I'm going to add that add images and if you were uploading let's say you know 30 40 images this is where you could provide you could tell the uh, RoboFlow how many should be used for training purposes that's teaching the algorithm how many are used for validating and how many used are for testing so we'll just we only have one so it's just going to go into the uh, training data set Okay, so now we have 46 images instead of 45 images in our data set. So if we go to our data set, you can see all the images that we have. And they're labeled Train, Test, and Validate. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to do some uh, post-processing. This is important if you use things like YOLO. 
and you're going to want to probably resize the image to 640 by 640. This is standard. So we are going to resize 640 by 640. We want to apply that post processing. Continue. And augmentation allows us to adjust the hue of the image. So this is very cool. What this does is if you are, for example, in the game World of Warcraft, you may be playing in different zones. And different zones have different types of hues. Pharrell's is very green, and some of them are very red. What this does is this takes all of your images and adds and subtracts uh, different degrees of temperature, you know, hue uh, temperature color. And what this does is this increases the variation in your images. And this can cause your image to become, this can cause your model to become more robust because you now have more color variation between your images instead of them all looking exactly like North Shire Valley palette. So we're gonna hit apply and save that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna generate a model. So this is where we hit generate. And here we go. So this is gonna take some time. I'll uh, let this process. All right, we're all set. Now we're gonna go ahead and start training. So when we start training, uh, this is gonna take time. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like and, and then I'll show you the result. I'll speed up this video. Okay, and when your model is all done running on RoboFlow, you can go ahead and drop a video or an image into that. So if I were to drop this image in just to show you what it would look like, it'll load and it will give you the results and it will show you exactly where it predicts wolves are if they exist, what the percentage matches. So 89% is a, is a pretty high result. That's a confidence number. Uh, we can raise and lower the confidence. So if I raise it to 100%, it doesn't show any wolves. But if I raise it to 80% or 75%, you can see that we get a nice match there. Uh, this shows exactly where they are uh, on the image. Uh, we can do the same thing with the video. So if I go to video, and if I try this video here, and there it goes. So you can see that it gives you a quick idea of what's your model doing so you can see it's this one's not performing quite as well as the other one that I already showed but this gives you an idea how you can use RoboFlow I enjoyed it uh, I think there's other tools out there that I might prefer but this is a good option if you're looking to kinda get started test the waters a little bit and just play around I really enjoyed it and I think their website is quite uh, nice so I hope you enjoyed this video quick uh, taste of machine learning and World of Warcraft wolf vision so hope to see you in another video like and subscribe if you enjoyed this i like to do content on ai machine learning and computer vision so i hope to see you in a future video thanks